Okay, little dog video here. Sit down, Ruby. So you guys can listen. Anyhow, um, this is my dog collar. So this is Ruby. She's just got a single collar on. This is her flea collar. Uh, years ago, we had a little animal rescue, dog rescue thing going on. A lot of dogs coming and going. And when you have a situation like that, you end up with a lot of fights. Because you have animals that aren't established with the group, they're outsiders, and you have to keep them separate, which you can't always do. And invariably, you always get these, uh, or inevitably, you always get these fights. Now, I've seen a lot of dog fights, and uh, they'll typically tear up the forearms, they'll get them in their, I'll call it their armpits, under here, they'll tear them up <clears throat> under there. <clears throat> and uh, anything on the back, that kind of stuff, the head doesn't matter too much. But the bigger fights, the real bad ones, they'll get a dog, and they go for his jugular, let me see here, right at the neck, okay? So when you fix these dogs up after they've been in the fights, you find out where all these little key points are. And typically, they go for the neck, okay? If they get the throat, the jugular, you do a lot of damage. We've lost dogs that way. But what I started doing is I noticed when I had a Rottweiler, she'd get in these fights, and she'd, she'd go for the neck, the throat, and end up with a mouthful of collar, okay? So after I noticed that, I started putting two collars on each one of my, one of my dogs. This is not a good example here. I had those, those uh, Cordura nylon jobs, those big thick ones. I put two of those on every dog. And sure enough, three, four fights later, every time, one dog has the other one down, got him by the throat, and all they had was collar. And I was able to separate them, break them up, whatever the case was. And it was far less damage on the dog taking the beating. So just a simple little thing like that. It's going to cost you five or six bucks for another collar. But if you're having issues with the dogs, let's see you go to dog parks. That's something I don't do. I don't like being around people and their dogs. Um, but if you're in a situation where you know you have a, you know dog fights or this kind of thing, and just trying to protect your dog, and I mean this has saved several dogs for me, where I had one, two collars on that dog because they're they're going for whatever they can grab. When they get that dog down to go for his neck. You know, they get all the skin or everything, but when they got their mouth full of collar, that's as far as they go. And that's probably saved four or five of my dogs from, from uh, pretty bad uh, damage. You can get over a lot of stuff, but most of the stuff, you know, if they get banged up, cut in the armpits or whatever, you can salvage that. But boy, they trash their neck up. You got a vet bill if they, if they even make it. Oh, pussy cat. Anyhow, throw two collars in your dog if you're around other dogs. And uh, hopefully you'll never have any dog fights to deal with. But if you do, it's a deal breaker. Two collars. Anyhow. Love you, God bless. Say hi to my princess right there. Hey, gorgeous. And a couple of knuckleheads. Anyhow. Love you, God bless.